Good morning. I'm having a little bit more of a relaxed morning today, having some coffee in the studio and just kind of relaxing. It's right now almost eight o'clock and I'm deciding which hike I'm going to do on my last day of nice weather here. I'm looking at Mount Bouette, um, Col des Blom, and La Junction and they all look awesome and I'm having a little bit of analysis paralysis since this is my last day of good weather. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be staying up at Lac Blanc which is pretty close to where I was yesterday and there's not a lot of new terrain to explore up there, especially if it's um, storming a lot and don't want to be kind of caught inside most of the day, so still figuring out what I'm going to do tomorrow. So I've made it to the start of Wad Junction here. I've decided that I'm going to save Bomb for tomorrow because that's going to be really close to Lac Blanc. And if the weather is um, working with me, I'll be able to do that hike and then go to Lac Blanc to stay the night. The only thing is I was trying to take a chairlift up for this first little bit, save my legs a little bit. Um, looks like probably 1500 vert. But that chairlift, which is supposed to be open, is not. So I think I'm going to make the call to just start trucking it up here. I waited around for like 10 minutes and the chairlift was closed. The lady said it was breaking a lot yesterday. So they're going to have to make sure that it's in good working condition. So I'd rather do another 1500 vert than be on a <clears throat> chairlift on the verge of breaking down. So going up again. Definitely feel the legs after yesterday. That 7,000 vert day with 17 miles got me a little sore. And I think today is gonna be 5,000 plus vert again, but it's gonna be a little shorter. So gonna be heading straight up this mountain, check out some glaciers and excited to get some other views and glad that the weather is still holding up really nicely. I don't care how dangerous that lift is. I take it back. This thousand vert straight up. I'll hop on that lift next time. Every time. Got a great view of the entire hike I did yesterday from the lift on that far right to the lift on the left here and topping off near that kind of highest peak there. So far this trail has been a little monotonous but starting to get some awesome views um, down at the valley and across the way. Almost up here to this refugio that's halfway up this um, hike and starting to get some epic views of this glacier. The first part was a little tedious as I said but the sun's coming out. There's some fall colors just starting and it's absolutely glorious. Every single day just never ceases to amaze me in its own unique way.
I'm getting up here near the glacier, as close as I'm gonna be able to get. Been straight up, but the views have been so amazing ever since I passed that refugio. Absolutely stunning. The sun's coming out, the lighting's gorgeous, and I'm having a great time. The pain in my legs has subsided due to the views sustaining me. Getting up higher here. This is definitely no walk in the park hike. Feeling that elevation after yesterday. More than I expected, but almost near the top. I think you can kind of see it right behind me. The views on this hike, I think might be the most epic yet. To have the two glaciers on either side of you and to have the top of the Grand Coulard right behind me, which is how you start going up to Mount Blanc. Just truly epic feel like you're on the way to the Grand Coulard, on the way to the higher mountain. Really enjoying myself. Gonna get up there, have a bite to eat, and crush my knees on the way down. <laughs> Enjoy a nice lunch, well earned, at what I think is probably my favorite view on the trip thus far. This is right where this one glacier hits this spine or ridge line and branches into two. Really cool spot, feel like you're kind of on the verge of the high alpine, which I love and didn't get to experience this trip. As I was saying before my battery died, no better way for me to spend the last day of nice weather here. We'll see how the weather holds up tomorrow too. I'm being hopeful that the rain won't be too bad and it won't take away from the trip that much, but I'm really glad I'm enjoying these views today. I'm gonna have some food, put the camera in the backpack and truck it on down. been a very pleasant run back down here I think it's only been half an hour since the top maybe 45 minutes and down to the chairlift looks like they have it running 
but unfortunately it's still closed so that's a little bit of a tease but out of the sheer will to go back to where I started and get the full vert in I probably wouldn't have taken it anyway also just out of the anger that it wasn't open earlier when my legs could have used it more back to town now you can see that junction above me and some absolutely epic views as always here really glad I did this today even though it was a little bit more brutal than I was expecting earlier but definitely killed the hangover fast that's for sure and Looking forward to getting that coffee and getting back and having a very relaxing and chill afternoon.